Morning everybody, this is going to be attempt three of a spun out Dutch pour. This was attempt two, or actually no, this was two and three, so this is attempt four today. Um, this was two and three. I did um, a cross and then I did um, a diagonal cross um, and put the, the canvas on the cake turntable, turned it around as I was blowing it out. So I've got some quite effective um, composition here but it's just not quite right so I had so many comments of people suggesting I did the cross and the diagonal cross as well on one so I'm going to lay the colour on the canvas like that then spin it on the cake turntable and turn it out so I'm hoping I'll get these this sort of diagonal pattern but also in the middle as well so I'm I think that's the I'm hoping that's going to give me the result um of what I've been trying to achieve with my last few pours um so let's get started and try totally different color scheme for this one this is my base which is um this system 3 acrylic phthalo turquoise um and then I've got some blues and turquoises and silver so pebio iridescent blue green amsterdam sky blue light this one I have just mixed up. This is Amsterdam Manganese uh, Blue Thalo, Pebio Silver and De La Rani Prussian Blue. All mixed to my paint, uh, to my Dutch pour consistency. So for my Dutch pours, I use this Flood Fluoritrol um, and I mix it two parts Flood Fluoritrol to one part uh, paint to three quarters of a part water, except for the iridescent ones, I add one part water. Um, so in each bottle, if you imagine, I mix up 80 grams of flood fluoritrol, 40 grams of paint and 30 grams of water for non-iridescent, but 40 grams of water for the iridescent colours. So I'm using a 50 centimetre square canvas. So I'm just going to lay my base colour down. <clears throat> Right, base colours down. Um, so just to explain again what I what I plan on doing, or the, the painting I did previously, I first of all laid the colour in a cross and then blew it out in a spiral. It didn't really work, so I scraped it. Then I did it in a cross but diagonally, and that's the painting that you saw at the beginning. Quite liked it, but it's still not what I'm looking for. So this time I'm going to do both. So I'm going to have a line of paint horizontally, vertically, and along the two diagonals and then spin it and blow it out at the same time. So let's start. I'm going to start with the darker blue, the De La Rani Prussian blue. So first of all, I want a nice line horizontally and then the other way vertically. I don't want to get too much colour in the middle so I think I'm going to start I'm, I'm going to do my diagonal lines separately not not continuous across the whole canvas Ooh. right let's put some um, silver down next And then I think I'm just going to come back in with just a touch of the dark blue again because it's quite light on top. Right, quite happy with that. Just going to check that this spins round uninterrupted. It, it, it's hit. 
eating a couple of things. There you go, spinning round now uninterrupted. Right, let's blow this out, see what happens. So I will start from the centre. I'm going to hold my hairdryer quite still. Um, let's get, get, get the cable out of the way. I'm going to hold my hairdryer quite still. Spin this round as it's blowing, but then just gradually move my hairdryer outwards. So it's going to catch all the paint and spin it round um, as it goes. So let's see if this works, fingers crossed. I love it instantly I'm happy with this instantly the others had to grow on me instantly I'm happy there's a lot of paint here it worries me a little bit because where how is that going to settle there were cells that are starting to appear now this line here I need to get rid of because that's where the paint dripped right at the beginning and I thought that would just disappear but actually it's that's it's it's still there so I'm just going to get rid of that line so then it matches the rest of the canvas. It's definitely worked. So you've got these little pockets of negative space there and sort of dotted around. Now this is collapsing a little bit. I'm wondering if I just blow that around a little bit more to try and get that spiral back. It's just, it's moving a little bit, which it will do, because there's a lot of paint on here. I'm really, really happy. It's definitely worked this time. Um, much happier than all the previous attempts. So I think I've cracked it. I think I'm sorted now with the technique. Um, I think it also helps because the colours are all of a similar, similar sort of colour so that they're, they're blending well. So, for example, if I just had black here, I think it would look a bit more stark. So I think it helps with the colour scheme I've chosen. I've spent a long time blowing around these edges. I love these really wiggly, fluted edges. Um, and so I've managed to blow around quite a bit to get quite a nice fluted edge everywhere. Here, there was too much paint and it was just falling in or over onto the centre. Um, but I've managed to also blow around to get a really pretty tight sort of corkscrew um, centre there. Um, I hope you can see the sparkle here. It's so sparkly. Um, lots of beautiful cells, lots and lots of details popping up. Um, I just love this blend of colours, this mixture. That dark blue, that will darken as it dries, so it will create a little bit more contrast. Um, and I think that just is looks really good and next to the really pale colours. So there's no really contrasting colour this time, which I struggled to uh, to accept, but I wanted a, just a nice a nice classy colour scheme without too much contrast or yeah too too much pop of a different colour and I think it really has paid off it, it's a bit like an ammonite isn't it a bit like a fossil um, or just a bit like a whirlpool I think actually it's more of a whirlpool because you can sort of see the depth going into the centre great really happy really relieved I think I've now got this technique sorted out um, so I'll be back when it's dry can you see the seahorse? I'm going to take you straight in and show you. Can you see it? Maybe it's just me. Uh, maybe it should be more that angle. It just looks like the nose of a seahorse. 
maybe little ears if they have them and then the sort of spiky back of the seahorse that's all i can see in the center um so it did not dry well at all this central section there was far too much paint and it went really really swampy so what i have done is painted around the edge so you can now still still see the spiral but if you can imagine without that painted edge you just couldn't see the you couldn't see the spiral it was just a big it was quite pretty but it was just like a big swamp of color in the center and i didn't like it at all so i've gone around the whole spiral it's very jagged um but i just think that just gives it a bit more definition in the center there um it's not as it was i preferred it when it was wet but now i've drawn this zigzaggy spiral in i think it does work um, I was seriously considering doing some sort of embellishment in the centre, um, but I thought, well, I'll try this first. And actually, I, I quite like it. Um, I love all these edges. You've got such a sense of the of the spinning round. Um, the colours are just gorgeous. Let me show you the shine on it. Um, yeah, it's so iridescent. That silver is really shiny and that turquoisey blue really really pretty so i'm actually really happy with it after such disappointment when it dried um i almost threw it you know i, I was so disappointed but actually it's grown on me uh, that's the problem when you when you when you love something when it's wet and then it dries differently you just have to sort of realign your thoughts a bit but i actually think it works and i actually quite like the fact that i've got a little seahorse there in the middle of the whirlpool right thank you so much for watching um, if you've got any thoughts, any comments, let me know. Please do subscribe to my channel. Great. Take care, everyone. Bye.